something moved. Hey! Anyone home? Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It's always sat there empty, this hurt. That is, till the night afore the battle. A man arrived, walked right in like to his own. I was standing at me window, peering at the goings on. He must have eyed me, cos next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan for protection, see? But he just asks all polite, Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I, and you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. Staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. Right baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Fascinating story. Any chance you're nearing the end? Before dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come morn, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him, and me pan. Twere old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm afeard to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Methinks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. stench. Cracked monocle. Interesting. What's that, dearie? Nothing. Nothing. His throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. But when I gab to myself, they say I'm going barmy. Priceless frying pan. Hmm. Scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. Found the pan, have you? Documents. Almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this sun if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents too. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilf Guardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here, Sonny, for the road. Fry up a nice white fish for supper. Or a pipe. 